All right, hello and welcome. My name is Shuka Chow, better known as Internet. Should I just try that again? No, we're just going to keep going. So today we're playing uh, Psychonauts again, but I found something very funny. I was just playing around in the menu and I was like, hmm, what happens if I like jump off of shit and just keep going? And I found that you could jump super fucking high and go in an infinite loop. And I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off again, but it's really fun to do. At least I think so. I don't know. I don't think we can do it again. Oh, we're getting there. Ah, oh, I fucked up my momentum. I think it has something to do with like momentum and the way the world fucking spins. I'm sure some person has done like an infinite loop. One day I'll do it. Uh, load save game. Continue. I think I continue. I think that's the play. Anyway, Psychonauts. I, I actually, looking back at this game, I thoroughly enjoy it a lot. Uh, we have to go take some training, right? <coughs> With Mr. Sasha. Agent Nine's lab. I forget that, like, everything is voice acted, which is great. Saves me a lot of trouble. And I can set things on fire, which is also great. Can I touch them when they're on fire? Ah, yes. Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. That's okay. I wonder if he says anything else. Can I get him? Yes. Ouch. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you could find a more productive use for How do I talk again? Triangle. Yeah, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Is this guy supposed to be like Neo from the Matrix? Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, so tacky. I, I think I my mom had one of those. Directly at it, but I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. That easy, huh? A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Right, is there an aim feature? Oh, there is. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But this is a sensor, an integral part of any sane no. person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche. Looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. 
Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. Nice. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Sure, slowly. Hey, they give arrowheads, which is pretty nice. Holy shit. What does that do? Hmm. They're coming out faster, but still not fast enough. I'm trying to see what the rest of this place has. Yep. Apparently, nothing. Can I set them on fire? I can. <laughs> Man. Mm, still not fast enough. Well, this is a good way to get arrowheads. I'm gonna guess we have to go to like the death zone. I don't know, this is pretty good. I think you'd get to a thousand pretty goddamn quick. Control? This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Alright, so here's the actual level. Because Raz fucked with this guy's mind. That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. If Persona 5 told me anything, it's fuck with as many people's minds as possible. I like the music in this area. Sasha's first loss. Oh, 
Oh, is the mum dying? Oh no. He lost his mum. I can first person mode. I forgot about first person mode. What does that mean? Already at maximum projection depth. Making sure I'm not missing any of the, uh... What are they called? Figments. That's what they're called. The emotional baggage for this dude. You know, this is the kind of level I kind of expected from Psychonauts. I didn't expect the first level was going to be, like, a war-torn training camp. Well, that's good, you know. I enjoy when I don't get the expected. There's another part of the valve gonna open up. Well, it's at the valve, the... What even is this? It's a cube of some sort, but... Alright, so collect all the figments before pressing all the buttons. Oh no. You close one leak down, and another springs up. Well, come on. We've got to take care of these, too. Oh, this guy's hardy, huh? I do wish this cutscene was a bit, like, faster. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, I have a strafe dodge. I didn't even realize. I was trying to look onto old mate, but I ended up strafing. Alright, give me some ammo and health. I really want the upgrade that, like, lets me magnetize those things. Is there figments up there? There are. You know what, I'm going to assume this is going to make me go up. No, it wasn't. Fuck. I was like, I won't explore the top area because it's going to make me explore the top area. Alright, no shooting any fucking valves then until I fully explore. I'm going to guess we have six of these things to go through. Just a wild guess.
What the fuck is that? Oh, I can't jump up there. Sorry, I was trying to skip it. Oh, you can skip it by pressing circle. Okay. I love the cutscenes to this game, but not that much. What, is this a ruler? I don't know what that means. Maximum projection depth. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Click markers like that to replace layers. Markers. How many layers can maintain at once? Okay. So that's what those things are. They're one-ups. But I can only have five for now until I get golden ones. Got it. I just wanted to check if there was something up there. Which I don't think there is, or if there is, I can't reach. Haha, <laughs> nice! That was a sick mid-air shot. Pretty happy with that. Oh. Wonder, can I set that on fire? I can. Get these arrowheads. God knows I'm gonna need them. I wish I had like an arrowhead magnet as well. Alright, next level. Why the fuck didn't I get a notification you went live? Do you have the stream roll in Discord? Because that would help. Wow, that fire noise is actually really loud. Cobwebs, all right.
That's it. I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. I like when you can collect stuff in cutscenes like that. I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin, very fast. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. It's time to earn your merit badge. When mental focus is locked, per se, and use the left in any direction. Ah, oh, yeah, it's teaching me to strafe. Alright, I can't set him on fire. Play Rasputin. Destroy him. Enough. All right. So these dudes are healing him. So I need to stop these first. Thank you, Raz. There we go. I need fucking... Oh. I dodged into that one. These little cunts are so annoying. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. I think the hardest thing is trying to pick up ammo when it's bouncing all over the place. So is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Alright, that was a pretty good sub-level, though. Didn't expect it to be as hard as it was for, like, the starter one. Stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Alright, why? Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. I should also buy that magnet when I can. I think it's just still getting used to like the movement. I'm expecting this game when I'm like strafing and stuff to be like Ratchet and Clank. You know, but you have to stand sh uh, still to like shoot and stuff. Oh, so this is how I revisit levels, huh? 
Ah, uh, I see. You're on controller, right? Yeah, I am. I'm using a PlayStation controller, but it's telling me Xbox controls, which is fine. Yeah, I've been told a lot about this game, and a lot of people cherish it very... Very dearly. Um, and that's fine, because it's a good game. So far, the game has more personality than I feel like a lot of games have. Who the fuck is crying? Oh, it's one of my baggages. Like, I don't mind these cutscenes. It's very cute, but like... Bro goes on for way too long. Oh yeah, beat the shit out of that steak. It's up there. I just want... I just want all these figments. And I want to beat my meat. Please give me the fucking ammo. Holy shit. Oh my god, I hate ammo in this game. Yeah, Rory only wants to be tagged on my Discord for D&D. &D. No, that's completely fine. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. Dang. Is that ever work? I see. I can save ammo. Yeah, I, I'm going to get that magnet after this. Stands pretty well for a game from 2005. I think the, the thing I have about it is there's so much detail in the little things, right? I wouldn't mind seeing this game, like, being HD remastered, though. Unless it hasn't, like, already. Alright, can I set you on fire? Yeah, fuck you. I'm not wasting ammo on you. I will say, this game does remind me a lot in, like, its level and play, like Ratchet and Clank. Oh shit, they're coming after me. Nice. Psychonauts 2, yeah, I, I, I've heard Psychonauts 2 is pretty okay too. I'm going to avoid using ammo where I can. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank, I wonder if my laptop will be able to run it. Because it does come out on Steam in, what, three days? Well, I think the thing is, like, no offense to Double Fine. People know of Double Fine, it's just... It's not big AAA game, right? So even if Xbox pushes it and stuff, it's still gonna be, oh, it's an indie game. Which, a lot of people just don't try indie games out. And I mean, that's fine if you have, you just wanna try like big games. No one should tell you what game you can and can't play or want to play, but you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like indie versus AAA, right? Like Nintendo Directs, when they did the Nintendo Indie Directs, always felt weird to me because it felt like they valued those games less than, you know, big Nintendo games, even though some indie games are just bigger and better than some 
even Nintendo published games. But it feels like Nintendo devalues them by giving them their own, like, direct. Like, it's nice to see them talk about, you know, indie games, but when you're not putting in the effort to, like, sell it, and oh, I can be put on fire. How do I put myself out? New Ratchet and Clank game coming out. Um, I don't know about a new one, but the one that they was only on PS5 releases on Steam uh, in three days. Rift Apart. Which, I'm so excited to see the Ratchet and Clank series on Steam. Like, I can't express how excited that makes me as a Ratchet and Clank fan, and I hope they put on the original Ratchet and Clanks on Steam eventually. Nice, new side power time. We'll be doing that after as well. Buy a dowsing rod at the camp store. Do I have to though? I mean, I guess I can, but I want that magnet upgrade. Maybe I should just get some more arrowheads. What is that? Why are you targetable? Why is this doing this? Because they don't make as much money. Yeah, I get it, but like, if you're really excited about an indie game being on your platform and you want people to buy it, then put it in your normal directs. Don't put it in indie directs. Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area. The area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. <laughs> what else could I do? <laughs> if a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are Yep, mad brains got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't wanna. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to save you. Why the fuck is Dogen in my mind? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta climb this spooky thorn tower. Just explode his head, Dogen. I mean, he can't because he has the hat on. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, you wacky fuck. These bags remind me of, like, the little dudes in Banjo Kazooie that you have to collect. But I wish they played that, like, cutscene in, like, a. Nice. Nice. Uh, I wish they played that cutscene in, like, a corner and let you still control the game. Right, arrowheads are good. Come here. The world shall taste my eggs. What? How did we get from this to Okay, what the hell was that? I've been seeing some crazy stuff in here, Sasha. This can't be right. Ah, uh, why did I buy the chief brain tumbler? Yeah, you're not creeping up on me, buddy. Can we get much higher? I don't know how to levitate. 
<laughs> Thank you, Dave Ray. I had no idea you were at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned your levitation merit badge. Oh, okay. So we're getting our badges and discovering more about ourselves. What a weird fucking game this is. Is there a... Yeah, there's a stump in here. Time to learn a new power. Let's go. Yeah. I also need to save up to get the brain cobweb thing. Your hard work, dedication and mental agility. I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. I love clown bins. Now, grab that trash can with your mind and hold it into yes. Mm. Now, when you've chosen your destination, throw it. Oh, <laughs> good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family. Cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Huh. Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops. Hoops! Hey! Come on! Oh, be careful now! Did I did I not get that? It's time to take out the trash. Maybe I'll do like a side-on view of it. Right down the center. Oh, great shot! Let's see you do that again. So I kind of had it like a little lock on. Be bingo! Okay, last one. All right, I'm Where surprised that. Counted, but hey. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. The side of the caravan. Which is the side? Like, oh, be careful now. Like. Yes. Now, when you've chosen your destination. Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. Very nice. Now set me down easy and go pick up something that won't blow up your head if you make it mad. <laughs> I love that they have stuff like Come that. On. Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson? We'll work on your snappy one liners. Nice. I want to go to the kids' cabin. Because I like going around to people that I've talked to and like using my new powers on them to see if they say anything different. Oh, fucking Peepo's not here. You know, the guy that's peeping in that hole. Hey, I didn't know you guys were friends. Small Maloof and I have arrangement. Instead of beating up bears, I get to beat up anyone who picks on Maloof. Unbelievable, no? And he's not even charging me. A lot of things are gonna change around here, Rasputin. A power shift. Some big figures will be going down. Some new stars rising. And a meek justice. For the abusers of power, 
wedgies and Indian burns. Choose your sides wisely. God, I haven't heard them refer to as Indian burns for so long. King Luf, can I join in? Sorry, Raz. This is our thing. Did you find that bear? Yep. Soon. Wood's not big enough for me and summer camp and giant bear. Hmm. Thanks for the boot. But no, still can't see no bears from up here. What are you trying to prove, Raz? No one touch Maloof anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Let him go, Mikhail. He did me a favor once. For that, he gets one day free ride. <clears throat> Thanks. Huh. All right. That's kind of cool. I like how the characters all change like locations and what they're doing and shit. Yep. Is there no one else up here? Is the Sarge still up top? I guess we'll find out, huh? I love just beating up people in this game. As much of a like fake insult it is to say like, oh this game this game is quirky. It is, it's quirky in like a good way, not quirky like, oh my god, you're so quirky, you know. Oh, I can pick up a squirrel. Holy I killed it! No! story. I said I'll count to a hundred, and then... Stop! We saw them! We saw all of them! Just like five seconds ago! They were headed towards that place. The one that's so far away. The beach? No, that's too close. The woods! The really far woods! Thanks! I will do that, by the way, Rorance. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Put me down, or Kitty's dad will sue your whole family. Hey, put me down, or my dad will sue your whole family. I enjoy this. Did Vernum go over here? Can't see him. I'm, oh, that, you know, most of the kids are probably at the levitation training. But just in case, I also want to go to here. Yeah. Don't be late. Levitation class has already begun. Come on up to the floating dock before... I want to see what other people say, if there's other people around here. And also, arrowheads. Can I throw you in the river? No, he dies. Well, I know how to get that golden acorn now. Can I lift you up?
You deserved it. Is there no one out here anymore? I wonder how I do this. I'm sure I'll figure it out sometime. Maybe I get a new power to deal with that. But. Damn it. Oh, am I going to get invisibility? I thought, oh, that's how I get the acorn off the squirrel. Oh, hello. Find him yet? Well, I tracked Dogen into the forest, but his footprints just disappeared. Really? Yeah, and I tried to tag Elka, but she punched me. <laughs> I saw Vilka run into this cave, so all I have to do now is wait. Why don't you just run in there? Never follow a snake into its hole, Maz. That is the code of the bombers. The code of the hunter. Well, that's not what I want. Don't tip off my target. Hey, put me down. Oh, I was hoping you'd say something funnier. So is he the only dude here? And she's all head up about a monster she thinks she saw in the woods. Head up? It's Wild West for excited. James and I spend so much time together, I guess I'm starting to sound like him. Funny, I talked to Lily last night, and she didn't mention anything about a monster. Nothing? Well, she mostly said, mm, because we were letting our mouths do the talking, if you know what I mean. I sure don't. What do you mean? I mean we were making out because we're involved romantically. What? You... Wait. She doesn't like you. In fact, that's just one of the many ways she doesn't like you. In fact, she doesn't like you, period. You're lying about this whole thing, aren't you? No way. Lily's my new girlfriend. Don't ask her, though, because it's a secret. Because, well... But because is a secret, too. Oh, Nils. I know it hurts, but I have a new boy in my life. A new cowboy. And he's not just a new cowboy, he's a cow man. I think you have me confused with you. I'm so moved on, I wrapped around, and now I'm back. Whatever you say. There's plenty of women Holy where fuck, you these two ever shut up? And other places. Good. There we go. Hey, Elka. Hey, Nosy, how about pulling your big beef? Okay. you guys getting back together? No. No. Whoops. Hey, if I can't hit her, neither can you. <laughs> Sorry, that's a really dumb fucking line. Hey, grow up, Rasputin. Drop me, or I will drop you. Can I lift this, maybe? Mental cobwebs getting you down. I've got just the oh. guys up here in the main large store. What? Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb dusty before they're all sold out? Alright, let's go buy some stuff. Also, I know someone went into that cave, but it could be like one of those things where it's like into a new zone and I don't want to do that just yet. Oh, we got rootin' tootin' cowboy shooting. Great shot. Well, partner, it weren't great, but it weren't bad neither. Put me down, partner, or I'll show you what a good shot I am. Oh, is that another fucking thing? Yeah, it is. Gold doubloon for the, the what is it? The hide and seek hunt. The what do they call it? The treasure trail. Okay, that's funny. Now put me down. Ow! I flip you like a half-done burger, boy. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Whoa, that's my last cobweb duster. 
Okay, now with that, you can change the color of some of your cyborgs. Now, now that we want a dowsing rod. You find arrowheads that are buried. All righty then. Does it can be used to find deeper, more valuable titanium arrowheads equipped with dowsing rod and watch and listen to its change of color and sound? This is how it lets you know you're getting closer to a deep arrowhead. Just why very rapidly to extract what the arrowhead. Do now, now with that, now here's 400. I thought this was 50. Okay. Alright, go get more arrowheads and come on back. I think, if I remember, there is still a thing in here. Oh no, I got the scavenger hunt item in here. Then there's nothing in here. 400, that's a lot. Well, maybe I'll do some dowsing and see what that's like. I'm trying to take my time and just enjoy this game and don't worry about the fact that like I'm streaming. But then... I can't tell. So that's bad, right? We want it to glow. I'm smashing Y, so it's not there. Oh, I see. How much was that? That was 30. Okay. Oh, I see. So this is how you just get arrowheads fast, huh? Sweet. If there's enough in this area... I found out there because you need to do this to reach 800 for the Cobworth Duster later in the game. Yeah, but I'm sure like this game is probably marketed towards kids. And kids eat up this kind of shit. <laughs> I do too. Oh, it's up there? It could be on the fucking boardwalk? How do I get to there again? Is it through here? Oh, I was on top of this rock here. I want to get the magnet at least. Because I hope that just makes my life easier. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. Oops. Get a good grip. Remember to keep filling up those 
little scavenger hunt forms, we got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Scavenger hunt is the name of that thing. All right, just one more. Hmm. I'm not picking up anything. Must not be any deep arrowheads nearby. I don't particularly want to go into a new area, but we might have to. I wonder, if you reload the area, can you also get arrowheads? Oh, I can set these to different things. No, it didn't. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate, Rorance. And thank you for the tips. Tasty hydrate. I hate having to, like, re- Oh yeah, I have a fucking feather and a piece of bacon. The bacon's to call the janitor. Are there none at all in this area? Really? Oh, at least we have fast travel. Surely there's got to be some here, yeah. There we go. What the fuck? I don't I don't wanna Okay. I'll do this first, I guess. How do I put away our item? I, I don't know how to put away an item. I, I didn't want to tickle them. Oh, it is circle. Hey, Maloof, can I join in? Sorry, Raz. This is our. Did you find that bear? Yep. Ah, so they just move spots all the time. Entering Boathouse and Beach. Okay, I don't want to enter there. You see those guys? Nope. I don't know if people have like missable side quests or anything in this game, but I assume since this game is a collectathon, it's probably not. It's just like missable dialogue. Where the fuck am I going? I'm going up here. Alright, we at least got the magnet, and then, like, worst comes to worst, I can try to farm the rest of those pieces off stream. 
Because I'm sure no one's going to miss out on a dowsing stream. Oh wow, Chicken Chow got the dowsing rod. It's my favorite thing to watch. Hey, any take a Whoa, that's my last time with that. Ah, now here's something every young son sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. This looks like your energy will automatically be drawn towards you what from a distance. You that's it for now. Alright, go get more airheads and come on back. Sweet. So hopefully I don't have to worry about health and ammo running away from me. I hope it's a strong magnet at least. So boathouse is this way. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be a place full of these arrowheads. Oh, I forgot. I need to get a bunch of these like side things to level up as well. I have what, 35 divided by 9? One more and I'll be able to make four level ups, which is pretty pog. Oh, it's the guy that died. Oh. Well, yes. I just... I mean, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! Um... I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you? What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Oh, does he like Lily? Oh, I got a seagull! I'm gonna throw it at another seagull. It's dead. But... I saw a fucking card in the cutscene, I think. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's not a card, that's a scavenger item. Ah, wow, look at all of this shit, huh? I missed that, but that's okay, because I can just climb this, surely. Right? It's, you're saying that's too much of a... okay. Anything up there? No? Alright, let's try that again. I do like how the game explained why, like, Raz is so good at acrobatics and stuff. Because of his background and shit like that. What does he suck at climbing trees that aren't perfectly straight? Exactly. And the canoe simulator really paid off. Uh, yes, sir, Admiral, sir. Well, let's get you afloat. Finest of the fleet. I'll take good care of her, sir. Am I supposed to be able to do that? Are as harmless as she looks. Mm -hmm. Now, don't take her out too far. Oh, no, you don't. What's that round thing up on the dock? That thing? Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. Oh, that was a fatal mistake. I hope you... <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Let me down. Let me down. Let me That's down. 
funniest thing I ever saw. I hate these guys. <laughs> no, you, don't. you have your oarsman's badge. Do I though? Oh, I, I do, I guess. I thought I was going to get the training there. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine induced dream about you. Easy. Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to his secret lab and. Easy. He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thornbush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. If I enter the water, do I die then? Oh! And guy must love this game then. Really? Hey, Elton, have you heard anything else about that thing in the lake? Huh? Oh, not really. The fish are kind of going crazy about Bobby and Benny over there torturing anything that swims too close. Oh, somebody should do something. Yeah. Well, I suppose I could go talk to them. Really? I see. I can't make that jump. That's probably where I need the Man. boat. Holy mackerel! Oh, sorry, not you. Got it for the arrowhead, though. Three chances in the water, two jumps, and you die. Ah. So funny. <laughs> what are the chances that if I ask nicely, you two will stop messing with those poor fish? About as good as the chance that if you say one more freaking word to me about fish, the fire department's gonna have to jaws of life my fist out of your mouth. So wait, does that mean you will? I will punch you. That's what that means. I am the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. I can breathe air and love to eat the brains of little boys. I like how we gave it a fish icon, even though it's clearly the invisible girl. Don't make me go get my fish friend. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no lung fish. Come on and get me, stupid lung fish. Ooh, look at me. I can breathe. Oh, that was a fatal mistake. A to pedal forward, B to pedal back. Oh, this is weird. Can I only dismount in certain places, or...? How do I get out of the boat? How do I know the places I can dismount? Oh. Okay, if you guys need me, I'm gonna be studying levitation via Vodella. The mental links. Oh, I bet we can go to these things after we get levitation. That probably makes sense. There you are, darling. Don't worry. I got in contact with your father, and he's going to be here tomorrow to pick you up. My father? Oh, gotta go. The race is starting. Sorry, Rory. I don't follow red flags. Oh, hey, Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but... They stole Dogen's brains. No, he's just like that. 
I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was gonna take them out. And was it a creepy looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. Also, did she make him a friendship bracelet? Because that's super cute if she did. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool. Yeah, it feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! That's cute, because last time Raz was like, I want a friendship bracelet. Oh, man. These guys are all getting advanced levitation training while I'm just standing here. Yeah, I'll levitate him. Free airplane rides today. Right on! This guy and the other girl is poisoning people, right? Wow! You're really good at telekinesis, Raz! That's awesome! Hey! Uh, enough! Hello! Put me down! What's this all about, eh? I can't even levitate What's him. There we go. I was already floating, Rasputin. That's hardly a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Agent Bodello, I have been ordered to report here for levitation training. I've already done the coach's obstacle course, and Sasha showed me how to shoot. You know, I'd expect that sort of recklessness from Orso, but Sasha? Agent Nine said you were the most powerful levitator the Psychonauts had. Sasha said that? Really? I didn't know you noticed. Well, you know, I only work with the best teachers. Look, okay, let's party. I feel like every time it plays that little like nu, 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 theme, it's gonna like segue into the Ghostbusters theme. Look who made the scene, Agent Vodello. Where are you? On TV, of course. Where I was always meant to be. I mean, look at my hair, darling. How can hair this fabulous not be on TV? Now, darling, the best way to learn levitation is to just try it. I'm going to give you a levitation learner's permit. It will only work while you're in my mind. After you finish my course, I'll give you the real thing, baby. First, you gotta show me you know how to use it. Holy shit, that's just a high jump. Now bounce on up here and follow me, darling. There you go. Holy shit, this is sick. Can I break stuff? Oh, do these just come straight to me? Oh. Oh my god, yes. Oh, that's so good. Holy shit. Thank fuck. Now for this last one, you're really gonna have to fly. Once you get up in the air, try using your thoughts as a balloon to float. Oh, I get a glide. So I can... Press L while airborne. Oh! It's the other L. Okay. God, that's that's a bit weird. I thought it would be X. Okay, now just between you and me, this end of the party is dead. Come find me on the other side of the party, and I'll give you that merit badge for real. Never keep a girl waiting long, young man. I don't like this teacher though. I thought she was fine at first, but then the like comments towards kids about flirting and stuff. I don't know about that. Stay 
on the ball in here, Rasputin, if you want to get higher. And see if you can get all those rings spinning, Mr. DJ. Can we get much higher? There we go. You are the sugar in my bowl, darling. Now just follow the flowers, won't you? And try to stay rolling at all times. That is the theme of this party. So jump like that. Fuck. Alright, I thought they were timed or something and I'd have to get them all at a certain time. Try to balance the beach ball. Yeah. Did, I'll put a ball return down here for you. Just jump in there if you need to come back up here in a hurry. Oh, it's a spring. Okay. Darling, float over here, will you? These rings aren't spinning and they are ruining my party. Remember to use your side float. I'm not saying it won't ever let you down, but it will let you down nice and slow. Hey, want to dance? Um. No, thanks, Raz. Hey, wanna dance? Yay! I already am! Come join us! Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! They even give these guys, like, little head dance? portraits. Watch and learn, kid. Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Hey, will you teach me how to dance? Come on, dance, baby! Hey, wanna dance? Hey, sure! We're all dancing! <laughs> Small balcony on the other side of this room. You should check it out up there. How do I get to there, though? Oh. I made a mistake. You do. You need to get much higher. But can we? Can we get much higher? Thank you, sweetie. I feel so much better now. I assume that will let us get much higher. Come on, let's take it a little higher now. Look at the crowd! Things that see that drop up above, darling? Jump into it and float and see where it takes you! Now why would you want to come in here? Come on, this room's no fun. Let's leave, baby. Now you definitely don't want to go in there. That's a party killer, right? I want to see your fucking deepest, darkest thing. Miller's children. She has children? Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And she fed them a lot. And she sung songs for them. And... Oh. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. That got dark real quick. Can I do anything here?
I'm gonna assume I can't do anything here. That's... That's sad. I don't know what I expected there. No, that's really cool. This game has fantastic storytelling. I'm getting the hang of this. At least I think I am. Alright, let me just get this tag that I saw. Holy shit. Those senses. I wonder, can I roll over them? Their party senses, yeah. Alright, thank god I didn't have to aim those, because I already have bad enough depth perception as it is. Ah, a grind rail. Please let me go back up. Can I grind in the ball? Nope. Oh. Okay, well that was a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. I enjoyed that. God, Levitation is such a game changer though, in terms of like, how much shit you can explore and do. Another one of those 
things that I'm going to miss out on or no? Any other Easter eggs? I hope not. Oh, you can battle while on... Oh, I could put levitation on that. Okay. I much prefer it on that, though. What other secret you got? Milia's Adventures. She was like a super spy with Sasha. Beating the bad guy and defusing a bomb. Infiltrating a Arabic themed party it seems. Or some sort of more Arabian party. I want to see if this has anything special because of the Prez thing. Oh, her and Sasha, huh? So, normally everyone else can walk on the water, but obviously, um, Raz can't. I'm glad they give you those little quick jumps. Because if you're bad at this, it makes it a lot less, like, irritating to go through. I'm going to assume we have to jump over the green shiny thing. Fuck. I've made a mistake. I'm still getting used to the controls, I apologize. There's doors there, but there's also a way up. I didn't try to get through these levels without being a trapeze artist. Yeah, imagine if you couldn't roll on a ball like, you know, I assume more than 99% of the fucking population. Please. No, oh, fuck. All right, just a second, guys. Oh, okay. Daybreak doesn't need my help. <laughs> What's that sound? There we go. 
So you can switch back to ball mode. Beat stupid Bobby Zilch in okay. levitation race. Okay. I'm gonna assume that I want to go through all like the speed gates. I can collect figments another time. For now, I just want go fast. I like how my other two opponents are the two fan peeps. Oh, that hurt my speed. Give me boost. I can catch up. Woo! Come on. Telling me I over jumped it. Get fucked, Bobby. Oh, there was a shortcut on the right, I think. Oh, no. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Come on! Come on! Yeah! Oh my god, suck my dick, you dumb bitch. You are quick like crazy lightning. I'm so proud of you, darling. You're so fast, you'll be at my party in no time, eh? Okay, if you wanna get up to where the action is, you're going to have to do oh, a fuck lot sake, of this more. in this room, baby. Good thing you're so light on your feet. Imagine you had a fear of heights like me. You'd be fucked doing all this. If you float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Well, I tried to, but the game didn't want me to. It feels weird that this is a power when this feels like it's trying to be a get like a cool gameplay mechanic. Does that make sense? I don't think that was the intended solution, but it worked. Is there any other secret Easter eggs I'm gonna miss out on? No, but there is this. Oh, an ammo up. Didn't even know that was an option. So it was only HP up. It's a right baggy, I got you. I'm sure all the Easter eggs have been discovered for this game. I mean, it's what, like... 15 years old, if not more.
18 years, yeah. It aged very well. I mean, maybe not some of the, like, jokes. Like, I'm fairly sure one of the times Bobby called some dude a, like, pardon me, a spaz, but... Yeah, in most normal countries. I have a little party favor for you. So cute. Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Bodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. No one believes us because Dogen's so empty headed. Alright, fine, I won't. I wanted to go for a sick jump, but I guess I'll go from the shore. But I finally know how to get a bunch of shit that I miss now. So that's pretty bog. Are you kidding me? That was sectioned off. I even did sick parkour for that. Also, I was waiting for another way to like move faster. Oh, this guy just doesn't let you through. Okay. I thought he was getting pushy because I hit him. But no, he's the effective gate guard for that part of the level. Oh god, don't be kissing like that. I don't think that's allowed on Twitch. Especially not for children. So yeah, I wanted a faster way to get around and the game's given me it at least, so that's pretty pog. So I can't deploy the ball in air, which sucks. But I can just do this. Which is the epitome of fuck it we ball. So I gotta go back to my dream at the lab? Just in case I wanna see if like anyone else is around. Just cause I like interacting with people.
What the fuck? What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out. But something... Something coming out of those speakers reminds me of my nightmare. Is it the... I'm going to be quiet and hope that you just... Is the army guy involved somehow? I don't care how long you two have been partners. James is my boyfriend now. Do you know what that means? Uh, well... He wears his... Yes, he's less filthy, that's part of it. But the biggest change? Is that he can't possibly waste as much time as he used to hanging out with his loser friends. I don't like you. And I don't like you. So that covers everything we have in common. Now for the differences. I'm going to be with James all the time from now on. You're going to have to stay as far What's away from us on, as JT? possible. Or I I'm going to make your life enough. more miserable than I imagine saying. it already is. Hey, there's this whole brain stealing thing going on that you should know about. Nothing. Hey, JT. I could use a hired gun on this brain stealing thing somewhere. Huh? Oh, sorry, Reyes. I'm a little preoccupied right now. Got a lot of figuring to do. Mental cobwebs get me down. I've got just the device up here in the main lodge door. Not now. You should know about it. Score yourself a cobweb duster before they're all sold out. I love this little ball thing, even if it's dumb. Ah, oh, these two aren't here. That's weird. Those guys just left all their stuff out here. Wonder what happened. Maybe their brains are getting stolen as well. Less of a solo and more of a whatever. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. Oh no, they're all brainless. Hi, Raz. Vernon, you're okay. Yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV. Vernon, look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. D it... Dogen! Oh. TV? Yeah. Good idea. You rest here while I find your brain. Yep, it's true. It happened back when this nah, place was still not, an nah, Indian nah, summer nah. camp and it's not burial ground. Any better. A group of so something, someone's blue doing blue shit. Blue blue Jesus Christ. The Vernon's ghost story. I didn't mean to, but apparently I did. Um, yeah, so someone on, is stealing the kids' brains on campus. And I bet as we go further along in the story, we'll see more people there. Come here. No, I was even faster than you.
I was hoping to see any more of the. Ki oh wait, there's some. Let me go. What to do with small bully assistant? Jeez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny. On the other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swelled, popped. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quieter. Ah! Shut up, Benny. You have something less drastic? Uh, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Yeah, half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny! Seriously, Maloof. I apologize. A cough, you goon. A and I'll never bother you again. Ever! The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? Know anything about giant headless beer? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. It's wait, fucking hilarious. Wait. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, ma maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on. It'll come to me. Hey, you guys aren't going around taking people's brains out, are you? Not yet, but... Uh, Maybe we should do some market research on that and, and see if there's a demand for that service. You should take advantage of this time to quietly reflect upon your life, Benny. Rad, buddy! You gotta help me! Can I help you? No. Nope. You're not going to, uh, kill Benny, are you? Difficult to say. Well, he had it coming. Now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Can we tell Sasha about the brain stealing? Okay. I'm a certified limitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. What if it's us? Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? Helia dance party. Brain tumbler, there we go. Oh, does it show how much of each thing we have? I see. Oh. I see. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. Here's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. 
Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? Maybe? Of course! Right here! And this badly. We can drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! We're just not going to help. Really? Nope. These look kind of like the blueprints we saw in the fucking soldier's mind. Just saying. Oh shit. Oh, we can shoot it when it I see. Uh, confusion. Grenade. Man. Man, I am so smart. Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. Fuck. I see. We're supposed to use these for cover, huh? Uh, target lock. Gotta hide behind something. Hey. Oh, come on. There we go. And Dogen's mind has fucking hands. Please. Oh, I have to go through another cycle. Is it confused itself? Oh my god, I love the magnet though. Oh, get wrecked, get wrecked, fucking victory dance. Holy shit, that was loud.
I'm getting hurt, but I don't know how. Because I can't shoot it right. Oh, fucking confusion grenade. I think that would be that difficult, but here we are. Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute. We are, we're in the army soldiers fucking thing. Sputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know. You'll never believe Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your. Hmm. Is he on it? In on it too? Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Mari is, and was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks. Apparently, I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Now her brain's gonna be gone. Water? Uh oh. Better hurry. Where would you like? Time to go to the lake. It's time to go to the lake. Yes, sir, Admiral, sir. God, that was a bit rough. She's gonna have lost her mind, and so is he. Uh oh. Look, I can explain. He still punches me. Jeez, sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane thoughts all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency. But Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing. Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me. Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? All right, things are moving a bit fast, Lily. Oh, we can't go in water. It's our fear. But the diving tank thing. Let's get him. I can't. Can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick, while the flipper plants are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets overly digested.
I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, which is crazy because I feel like I've only played two levels. Admiral, sir, did you hear that? The hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Well, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. I'm not close, thank God. Safe. I was gonna say, I feel like I've hardly, like, played the game. Huh. I guess I can get on top of this thing as well. How do I... Right. Oops. Press the wrong button. And then we... Wait, why do we want to do this? Unless we do it like that way. I know you've been eaten, but there are trading cards I need to collect. Well, I mean, you said it. Oh! I didn't know there was a fucking dude that sets me on fire in there. Look, you said it yourself. Lily's dead. It's fine. I think I'm more sad that because there's less people to interact with, that means there's less fun interactions to have. It's kind of like in Dungan Rompa when like one of your more favorite characters die and then you're like, damn, now I can't, you know, visit them during free time. Do we even need this though? Can't I just like... God, how many hits do you take? Finish half the scavenger hard so you qualify for the first half of your prize. Go see Reggie Ford for your big promotion. Nice. Honestly, we could probably... How much promotion am I on? I could probably unlock a new power. Lily, it's a holo Charizard, you wouldn't understand. That shit's worth thousands. Look, Lily, I know you've been kidnapped, but there are more important things in life than you. Children, please remember not to pet or feed the animals at Whispering Rock. The Santani Oh shit. There's just animals out and about now. I wonder who else has been like TV-ified. Hey, anything new in this? Take a look. Ooh, take that's a my look. last cobweb dust. Now with that, now you take I'll that sack. Alrighty then. What else can I do you take for? It. Sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? I'll take it. Alrighty then. What else can I do you for? now. Alright. Go get more airheads and come on back. Wait, all the kids are gone. What the fuck? Oh wait, they must be sleeping in their bunks, surely, right? Man. We're in Cruella's base. Wait, are they actually?
Shit. Well, I need to find Ranger Ford. Where's Ranger Ford? Is he in the like little house on the side? Hello. Crowley, you gotta help. Kids are getting kidnapped and everyone's missing, and their brains are stolen. And I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks. Well now, you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits? Won't you help? I'm a ranger. I got enough problems wrangling these leaves. Now get! Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that! Well then, here's the first half of your reward. So is there a way to get in here then? Oh wait, I can just go on the roof. Thirty-five, sweet. So I'll be able to get the palm bomb upgrade or whatever that is. How do I get out? Help! There we go. Don't set me on fire. I keep shooting by accident. Uh, my sanctuary. Yes. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. That's how I get the squirrel. I thought I might get like an invisibility power, since the other kids could do it. Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out, but if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Hey, where'd he go? Don't let him see you. Hey, where'd he go? Don't make a sound. Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. Pretty boring, but it works. I can't refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... Yeah, no, that's it. Silent but deadly is for invisibility. Something you should see. Their little fart there, pretty good. Silent but deadly. Oh, oh there are the kids. Son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. They're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But 
You seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here near the Sartanium Motherload. The concentrated power of the Sartanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mopped. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignment, so they'd never get approved. But Sasha and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? You. I mean, yes, sir. I like that the game's like explaining every little detail, even though they don't have to. Oh wait, that's the cobweb. You know. Can we speed this up a bit? Oh, it does it all at once. Palming bomb. After you start palm bomb, press X as many times as you can before you hit the ground. Okay. I see. So instead of just one, I do for a mega hit. Can I do that while I'm visible? Speaking of invis, uh, let's put that there. Let's put invis on L. See how we go with that. Oh, does Invis have a timer? Where would you like me? Ah, uh, the lake. It's time. Yes. I see. There's a timer that goes down. If I fully run it out, is it just gone forever? Seems to be just gone. I hate the- okay. <laughs> Come on, game. Don't do me like that. Uh, it does recharge, it just takes forever. Okay. I only have 20 bullets, but I'll show- I'm sure I'll get more. Actually, what I can do is- Oh, what the fuck? I'll have a Psycho Portal. That's cool. I'll actually put uh, pyrokinesis on R, I think. Kill some stuff with pyrokinesis. Oh wait, not on R, sorry, on L. That on R. There we go. Can I just put it on someone's mind and enter it, or... 
Do I have to just wait till the story tells me? Also, I love how, like, the solution for a dude who can't swim because he's scared of the water is to plummet him underwater. Hello? I am under the water. Please help. Oh, you can't. The creature's prints are still glowing. This must be where he brought Lily. I need all the health I can get right now. The creature's prints are still the, the creature's prints are still I don't glowing. okay. This Thank you. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Oh, I hate that. There's spiders in this game? I hope not. A lot of different ways up right now. I mean, I think Guy would hate the idea of something underwater grabbing him at all. So I think the answer to that is yes. Like a resounding, astonishing yes, he would hate this. I forget that we're in the real world, still. I was like, where's all the, like, figments and shit? He has, uh, I think, believe he has thalassophobia, which is a fear of, like, deep waters and stuff. And what lurks in them and stuff. It's kind of like how I'm not necessarily scared of the dark. Okay. I'm scared of spiders, so I don't like the dark. Because feeling something touch you in the dark, I'm just like, oh, it's a spider. Is this just a boss fight? Am I supposed to, like, psycho... Telekinesis, sorry. Can't get a good, can't get a good grip. 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 Want some help? Yes, please. That's the one thing I will say, like, against this game, is this game does not explain itself at all, I feel like, with half the stuff. What's this now while the fish sucking you can break? Break the ball. Oh. Really? That's the solution? I wish we could tilt the camera like more to see where the boxes are. Yeah, it eats the whole box as it is, but wait, what the fuck?
Oh, this is just a running segment. Okay, I see. It's just a scrolling platformer. Little boy inhaled by giant monster. POV. Ow! Get it off! I like how these things fall over though. I was going to say, I don't need to do any of that, though. Because I have ball. Oh no, he might catch me, haha, <laughs> hee hee. More health, please. Alright, and now we're doing it again, huh? Oh, come on. For boss fights, this has got to be one of my least favorite boss fight I think I've ever played in a platformer. Everything in this game was pretty solid up to now. I found the bosses a bit difficult to like understand, but I never like. Well, we I never like super struggled once I figured out what to do. This is just very um slow. Oh, I jumped out of the bubble. Oh, thank God it doesn't start us from the beginning. It didn't even want me to go up there. That's where I went wrong. Oh, shit. It's like, the area they give you in this, like, little circular area isn't wide enough to do fun things like grind rails and shit. You know? It's not a big enough area to f fuck around in and do cool stuff and puzzles. So it feels like I'm just slowly going through, like, a walking sim. Too large to fill in the yeah. Whoa! That almost sent me straight into the fucking pit, huh? Ah, oh, here we go.
I don't understand what the goal is. Do I make him step on these things? Nope. It is the clams, okay. have to beat it up by hand. Is it dead or is it just sleeping? Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not it, Bob. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Oh, poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big skinny monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! I wonder what a fish dreams of. It dreams of the city? Do fish dream of electric sheep? Yeah. Oh my god, it is a fucking fish city. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. They're Irish! Good to you, Officer Alungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Are we the bad guy? <laughs> this is pretty fucking funny. Like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So, hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she. I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gargalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogalore. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you going to start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. 
All right, we gotta work with these guys. Freedom! 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 Hoo-ya! Now, how about getting you past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Is that a Psy badge or Psy power? Nice. Hey, is this gonna upset Cochamera and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No, I doubt it. No, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing, nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait, what navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore, for freedom! They do from some enemy attacks back at the attacker. You'll not be able to maintain a psychic shield forever, and when this part of your mind is exhausted, you will need to wait a while before you use it again. Okay. So, shields will put on L. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogalor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Oh, did I just kill an orphanage? Oh, shit. <laughs> did I just squish a woman? Whoops. It's true! It's all true! I'm doing this for health. I swear. You can climb these buildings? I'm already at max lives. I destroyed most of their city, in for a penny, in for a pound. I could pick up tanks. Oh, nice. I I hate you, I'm on full health, so I don't need to destroy shit. I'm just getting figments to level up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, random, <laughs> random citizen. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminal. Earlier tonight, 
Gogalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. Oh, shit. Sorry, Daybreak's getting me to hold something because she's getting all nice and comfy. So I couldn't grab me control there. So I'm supposed to go that way, but I want to explore this way. So we're on to the next. Oh, nice. I got a pyrokinesis upgrade too. Oh, fuck's sake. What now? And terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody smog through our helpless city. Our noble, all volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolor. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Do not get caught stealing children. I just wanted to explore. There is no I in T, Gogalore. Yeah, but there's an I in Squish, so watch it. I'll go take out your laser tunnel, but then we're gonna talk about who's running this revolution. We're trying to get to that Kochamra Tower thing so I can smash it. The laser tunnel, Gogalore. We have to get through that or we'll never get to Kochamra Island. <laughs> Little Timmy's like, Hurry! That's my school! Hooray! Thanks, Mickey Mouse. I'm just gonna break a few things. Hopefully they're not orphanages again, but hey, I need the health. So are these on like a timer or? God, this part of the game is a bit rough in terms of controls. I just feel so slow. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. 
Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Oh, okay. So that's where we go to the dam. Damn, I wish I didn't have to backtrack this whole thing just because I wanted to explore a bit. I'm gonna have to do this all again as well when I come back for the cobwebs. Oh, rough. Please don't kill me, Gogglor! I won't. You have a cool sombrero. All right, that was your fault. of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. Have you come up with a better plan than the pamphlets yet? Yes, it's called Turn In Gogalore for Reward Money. No! Careful, my chai tea! Alright, there's an extra lap. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. I can't bubble down here? That's ass. I was mostly just getting the bag. I know I've missed another bag down there, but I can get that when I return. I just wish I could move fucking faster in this. Alright, can I just shoot? Can I just shoot them? Thank God. Oh, is this like a monorail system? We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Gogalore situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore! I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes! <laughs> That's so dumb. We can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. 
to seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogolor, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel, to get to Kochamara Island, and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we, uh... uh we just think it best to do where, uh, uh... We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gogolor. Yes, that, and for freedom. What? I don't really know how to avoid the fucking planes shooting down at you. What the fuck? Yeah, because they're trying to kidnap the children's brains. Oh my god, are you serious? That sent me all the way back down to the bottom? Fuck me. Why I order when I get up there? Did I destroy a plane by bumping into it? Come closer. Come on. Get Freedom. fucked. Thank god that upgraded side blast. That just made shit a lot easier. It also makes it easier to deal with waves of enemies now. Alright, let's uh... Get some health back, shall we? Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent lug-faced navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogolor. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Rushdie, more often don't do so much. I hope there's not a boss fight here. But there is. Is that just the dude in a superhero suit? The fucking... The teacher? I can't do the splits. But does he have a gun? Give up while you can, Gogolor. I know it's you in there, coach. I don't know where you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Your camera does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. Please. Ram. 
Oh, I have to do the beam back. Oh, he took away all of my... I see. I can't shoot anymore. Why does he sound kind of like Nappa? Climate King Kong style, since this all seems to be just like a basically a parody on King Kong. Just make sure he doesn't get up behind us or anything. Wow, he got up behind us? Who'd have thunk? Fine. Take control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nap children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lap. I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> mm, uh, good one. Oh, the loading screen's even like dark crows instead of little cute summer camp birds. Lungfish, 
You know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. Is he gonna just make a Murloc noise? Noble lake creature? Lin Linda? Oh. I thought it was gonna be the Murloc Natural noise. Lady. I think it would have been funnier if it was the Murloc noise. I don't need this anymore. Put that back. I need to get my fucking ammo back because I can't shoot. Oh wait, I got Lily's bracelet. Mm, I don't think I want to put this bracelet on just yet. I think Lily and I need to talk about our relationship first. Who are you working for? What? Uh, I'm with the Psychonauts. Who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Okay, okay, but <laughs> have everyone fool. Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. You've got to let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. No, no, wait. I mean, not the milkman, who are merely the pawns of some sort of power. You know, no, no, wait. Yes, I'm, I'm locked, locked outside. The outside and I'm locked. Where's the milk? I'll bet he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. What the or else fuck? Maybe. You've got to let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Fuck. The suits. Why can't I just... Uh, okay. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know where the milkman is. Well, can't go that way. In conjunction with the mind. Fuck. Just kill me. It's no All they say about is words. I've been fixing oil pipe. Since. Uh, and sure, the nose on my face. I am sure they. <laughs> has been official. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those eggheads in the ivory tower, who are merely the pawns of. Some sort of. Am I missing something here? Oh wait, a psycho portal maybe? Bad mental cobwebs for sure, you won't get too far in here unless you buy the cobweb duster at the camp store. Oh. Oh. Do I... Is Roran still here? Do I have to get the cobweb duster for this dude? They obviously... Uh, pretty much control everything. But I know we'll see if Rorans are still here. He said something about the milkman, but I don't know. Oh man, this stuff is hot. You gotta let me in. My, you gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. Alright, maybe I gotta find the milkman on the campus. What's up, Linda? Prepare yourself for passage, human child. <laughs> Well, Rorance isn't answering, so I'm just going to take a quick look around and then I'll see what I can find. Maybe I can jump in someone else. Wait, can I jump in this guy's mind? 
Get that thing away from me! No, he doesn't like it. Okay, I'm going to guess that I do actually need the mental cobweb duster. So I'm going to probably end the stream here and grind that out. So thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. Hopefully next time we can take on whatever this dude is after I grind, what is it, 800 arrowheads? I can't wait to use Sasha's psychic portal door and jump inside someone. It's going to be a bit crazy. Hey, wait. My name is Chicka Chow, better known on the internet as Chicka Chow. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.